Hello folks, this is Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors. And me and my grandson Lincoln's gonna run to the pond and see if we can catch us a few fish this evening. And I decided I'd call my neighbor, Mr. Bobby. We're real good friends and invite him to go with us. And he said he would love to come and bring his grandson too. But he said I would have to bring a boat because he wasn't gonna let me get in his boat. So I'm gonna clean this old boat up and we're gonna take it down there to the pond with us and we'll have two boats. I don't know what that's all about, but we're gonna find out. I gotta get in their boat. I told y'all that Bobby wouldn't let me get in his boat. This is why, quit running from me. <laughs> he fishes with giants. Yeah. Look at this. How old are you? 16. <laughs> 16 years old, a giant. That's why I couldn't get in this boat. He ain't in the anchor rope, is he? He is. He got in the anchor rope. See if I can get you undone. Oh. All right. He's still on. Oh. oh, there he is. Come off, you still got him? Yeah. Don't let him get in the anchor rope again. Oh, that's a big bass. Let's see if you can land this fish. Whoa, 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 don't pick him up out of the water. That's a light line. You can get his head up like that over here. Told me I'll get him out of the mouth. Pick his head up a little bit. <sighs> Got him? Yep. All righty, that's what we're talking about there. I caught him right out in front of that treetop. It's got the green all over it, Lincoln. Oh, it's a little bass. You just have to keep at it. Lincoln was a little disappointed because I had caught a few more fish than he had. Look, you're in the deepest part of the pond. You throw it out there, when it hits the water, give it a second or two to sink down towards the bottom, and then start fishing it back in. But the real reason Lincoln was disappointed was he wasn't getting to drive the boat. He may have got off. I believe he's still on there. Man, I threw it between that tree and those trees just as far as I could toward that bank. Oh, it's a brim. Yeah, I bet Lincoln has asked me a dozen times when I was gonna let him drive the boat. I told you. Cast a little bit further around, a little bit further around. That's what I was doing. I found that fish. Pretty nice brim. Got him. You got one? Yeah. I finally told Lincoln if he could crank that motor, I'd let him drive around for a few minutes. He got it cranked. And after he drove the boat around for a few minutes, we stopped and went to fishing again and caught two or three fish, just boom, boom, boom. That gave Lincoln an idea. We would crank up and drive around a couple of laps and stop. And we'd catch two or three fish, and then it would get slow, and we would crank up and drive a couple of laps to stop and catch two or three fish. That's how we spent our afternoon. I caught some of those. Like two of them, but. Boy, fishing down here past the is good, ain't it? Yeah. Right out in the <laughs> salt water. <laughs> You ever had any saltwater brim? I tell you what, there's a lot of fun to be had in your own yes, backyard. Sir. Yes, sir. Lincoln, how many did you catch? I think two. Well, Three. that's all right. Three. Three. That's better than catching none. Yep. All he wants to do is drive the boat. Yep. Hey, I stirred them up for us. So 
just remember folks whether you're at work or play i hope you have a nice day this is bill reddick outdoors see y'all